Hey there everybody, this is Shaggo and uh, welcome to Lavery Zone. Um, I should mention at this point that I'm actually on the most up-to-date version, which actually got released. I'm assuming at the start of this week I'm recording these on the 30th of May, which is uh, a thing. Usually I don't say that, so yeah, it's probably been out for like a week. Uh, by the well, maybe two weeks by the time this comes out, I'm probably not certain. Probably will just be a week, but anyway. Uh, we'll say that this recording session is probably going to finish the rest of this game off. And, uh, yeah. Should also mention that for the Sonic Rush mod, mod pack that I've been using, uh, Lava Reef is pretty silly because uh, it uses the soundtrack for the one of the snow levels. Uh, it, is it Blizzard Peaks it's called in Sonic Rush Adventure? I don't know. I have uh, not played Sonic Rush Adventure in a long time. And I doubt I will because I'm probably not even going to... People are going to want me to try to get to true ending and I can't do that because I hate the special stages in that game. Well, what the game considers special stages. Um, but anyway, I did actually, don't remember, but I did actually get the original Sonic Rush on the ass and I might actually play that in the near future, so... Something to look forward to, I guess. But uh, anyway, in case you haven't noticed, uh, this is actually our post commentary because uh, I'm actually showing you a very easy to pull off glitch that um, pretty much lets you skip all of that too in its entirety, which is probably for the best of how Sonic's concerned because uh, screw the boss. That being said, since I'm using the new version now, the, the boss is less tedious, but I still don't really want to do it. But anyway, you really want to get to this point and then basically tell Tails to go away. Because he's pretty much going to hit you trying to uh, fix this up. But you want to get this little lift thing in such a way that... Um, uh, probably about this height. Basically so that Sonic can go through it just by spin dashing. And then you get stuck in the wall like this and then a quick full charge spin dash will get you into here. Now, here is... I think this is probably the main reason why this glitch works. Um, uh, it's basically because we're in Knuckles' is part of that one and we shouldn't be here. Also because we're doing weird things like uh, clipping. But yeah, we use Tails Assist here. Well, not in the way I'm going to do it anyway. Basically, you don't want Tails to get exhausted, otherwise you're going to do that. Having the Fire Shield is useful, so I'm kind of glad I got this checkpoint since the Fire Shield bar. I also have enough uh, lives left. Uh, getting crushed a few times isn't really going to be an issue. That being said, there's also an extra life I can grab here, so it's fine. I'd have rather not got crushed after, but... Uh, yeah, you get what you get. I can get enough rings to cheese that one boss anyway, by the time we get there. Anyway, get to this point in the level. Um, move the lift in such a way that uh, well, A, Tails is not going to annoy you by following you. It's, that's kind of like the most difficult part here. Just do short spin dashes with jumps, you should be able to uh, get sufficient enough you know, height on the left. Oh, this is too high, by the way. If you're not like fully in the wall like that, then yeah, it's not going to work. You just use, like, do a full tap spin dash and you're through. Fireball spin dash doesn't actually work because so you can't actually jump. So yeah, I'm just collecting rings just so I can ch go hyper later. But uh, yeah, doing this bit properly this time. I think this is probably the only reason why this works because you, you really need Tails Assist for this. Uh, basically I'll have Tails face the wall and eventually you'll get pushed into the, the lava here. May go right to fall into a hole, left to fall into a hole and then left again to get past this wall. If you don't, you're very likely going to get caught by that crush trap so uh, kind of want to be careful. From here, Fireball Dash is actually also useful because it's very hard otherwise to get past those spikes. Uh, don't really need the Fire Shield anymore, so very convenient looking Lightning Shield up here that I want to get, but uh, Tails aside, now nah, I'm just going to jump on the floor again. 
That is a benefit and a curse who uh, tells us this. But anyway, the way you get out, there's a secret passage to the right here. There's the checkpoint. And at this point, make sure you spin that into all these rocks that you see that are breaking the way. Like I said, this is Knuckles' path and he usually runs into them to break them. And if you do anything else other than like spin dash into them, like run into them as uh, super hypersonic, or use hypersonic dash, or even use the fireball spin dash, the game basically breaks and you end up in competition mode for some reason. And if you're doing a speed run, particularly with Sonic 3R, um, that's generally very bad because that basically kills your run. By the way, you know that everything's worked because the background is missing though, just before this checkpoint. And so we have the boss here, which I'm just going to choose with Hyper because it yeah, has sufficient jump height to actually get the hits on this thing. These uh, things that shoot you. And the hand, I can just stay where I am. You might think the hand just crush death damage, but it doesn't. It just does a normal hit. I'd rather it also not wiggle around. Usually it stays in place, so I don't know why it's being silly like that. But anyway, you probably want to be on the left hand side of the uh, bot, on the left hand side of the screen here. On the Skodos. Because doing, doing Lava Reef 1 the way I did, I actually go back into Lava Reef 1, hit the checkpoint, and you just restart from the checkpoint. And you basically just fight this boss again. Except I'm kind of finding it, fighting it a little bit more legitimate. Until we don't have Piper. But again, Sonic, with a combination of the Insta Shield, has enough height on his jump to actually kill the tentacles. And um, yeah, you basically just jump on the hand when it comes crashing down. Again, it doesn't do crush death, it just does normal damage, so uh, even if you type even if you type your jump round, which I'm probably about to do. I'm fairly certain I do actually do like sufficiently bad at to uh, this time in my jump. Oh no I don't. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's basically Lava Reef done. As soon as the uh, score tally, as soon as the score tally uh, finishes up, I can actually just go to the palace, but I do want to show off that it doesn't actually transition there. But, uh, yeah, you're basically stuck here. You can use Tails Assist, or if you somehow have one, a Lightning Shield, to get up here, and you're essentially in the loop back for At One, specifically Knuckles' segment. Uh, the loop back is basically the area where like, all the regular collision is around, but none of the gimmicky collision is, like platforms and like breakable blocks and such. And lava, so you can actually stand in the lava without using a fire shield. But anyway, you can go right for a bit, and at the end, uh, there's like, nothing else you can do. So, yeah, you're basically stuck here. So, it's like you're technically soft lock, but if you just, all you need to do now is just exit to menu and then go back to your save file and it'll just say, oh hey, you're in Hidden Palace. Which is all fine and uh, Danny. You also can't go past the checkpoint because there's a wall in the way. Like I said, that's basically all you need to do. So, now it's time for me to actually do this properly. So, I'll see you then. Alright, doing lab review zone up um, properly, I suppose. I will say a couple of things. Actually, I think I probably said it in the post commentary, but I am on the current, the, the uh, newest version of this uh, game now. I know I said I wouldn't be going on it, but I think, as I said, mainly, as a, for the most part, uh, most of the uh, changes for, like most of the major changes, actually do involve the uh, Sonic group. And since that's the route I'm currently going on, uh, it's probably the best for me to actually go on Sonic through. I mean, sad Lava V Sonic is obviously a place where you need a fire shield, but uh, we also have Hyper Sonic, so we don't really need a lot of lightning shield. Um, well, we don't really need a fire shield specifically, but a lightning shield which the uh, well in fact prove provide dividends, I suppose. Should try and not try and uh, skip the level again. I've already done the level skip, I've said done that in the post commentary. Uh, I should also point out the uh, BGM for the site the uh, site rush um, and mod pack 
Um, kind of ironic since uh, it's, this is for Blizzard Picks. Uh, it's, it's the city, it's the ice stage in sight which presents you. So we uh, we have that. So that's a, a silly thing that this does. So ignore the teleport. I said, well, I said, well, I said well, I don't necessarily. You know, I have 59 lives, and um, if uh, everything's gonna go as it did when I was pre, I was actually calling this the uh, of the die. I'm actually calling this on a different day from uh, when I did the Lavery 2 stuff, when I did the Lavery scat. So, um, yeah, basically what ended up happening that day is just ended up going full tilt, like full on uh, tilt mode, playing this game. And, uh, Calling Tails a liability amongst like other various swear words and such. And well, I'm hoping that uh, doesn't actually happen again. Because uh, hopefully everything goes as I want it to go. I, want... I don't want the fire shield, I want, to, I want to keep the lightning shield. I can pretty much keep the lightning shield through pretty much the entire. Uh, I think if I wanted to. Now this place is probably a little bit familiar if you were uh, here earlier really because this is where nothing uh, path normally is. We're not going that way, instead we're just gonna run through. I think I went I think I went top route before, I think that's probably the better route. I'm kind of surprised I didn't go to Splat Rock. So, sometimes I think those, uh, I think those crushes are something to thug sometimes, it's just, uh... You see them sometimes and they try and crush you and sometimes just push them the wall and actually crushing you. I don't know, this boss is actually so simple, just, with Hyper we can just wait around and just let him hit himself. I mean, not to the sort of absurdity as, uh, I'll say the fire match at one boss of, uh, hit himself, but... There's that. Like I said, I lost my lightning shield because I'm stupid and got a fire shield. I'm gonna get this fire shield and stab it because it's, uh, if I can't have a lightning shield, I'd rather at least have a fire shield in this place. At least I'm talking about a lightning shield, but I don't think you can get one in that too with the route I normally go. And uh, you can also go up here and I believe is this a fire shield or is it the up here? It's not a fire shield. The fire shield up there actually. I'll be a little bit better to go the upper route there since it's I think it feels a lot easier. Now probably one of the main reasons why I'd rather have the lightning shield here. You actually have to take this top route to Sonic, uh, I know in Sonic Mania, you're forced to take a bottom route, for pretty much any character. Uh, so it has to take this top route here specifically because um, the bottom route is blocked by a, um, a block that only knuckles can break. And we do end up getting there eventually. I have to swing better by my way over that. I don't think there's anything else up here. I mean, there's loads of pulled away another uh, block feature to the side here, so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here. There's an invincibility there, we just all want it, and. I do. Well, I say I want it, but on the other hand, I am on 50 rings now, so. That means it does make getting through here a little bit easier. There are spikes, and they're probably like the biggest, uh, probably our biggest issue here. So we can get a lightning shield at the, uh, the gacha. The answer is we can absolutely get a lightning shield from the gacha. We can turn hyper now. I'm just perfectly happy to just go hyper and uh, play the rest of the uh, level. 
I should mention that at the end of that one, uh, you probably noticed we get a, uh, a fire shield out of the uh, item box, out of the signpost. Uh, a lot of speedrunners can actually use that in Vanilla Sonic 3. Vanilla Sonic 3 and Knuckles to. Uh, uh, I was going to say, I thought I had lightning shield. How was I unexpectedly going to. So I'm wondering why the. Uh, I had no uh, lightning shield properties. But with that fire shield, you can click into the floor and you can skip this entire level. Also, you've also just seen me pass through the, uh, the last special stage ring in the entire game. There's no more special stage rings after the, uh, from this point almost. So if you haven't got all the animals by this point, like the there's seven or so in Mushroom Hill. Also, speedrun is using another trick here. With a spin dash clip into this uh, star and zip through to knuckles this segment here, which we can't actually do in S3R. We're just going to do the normal thing. And since I am on the new version, um, this one's slightly easier. But on the other hand, I get the feeling this is probably where the train wreck's going to start because, uh, yeah, if I'm not careful, I'm probably going to fall and die. Do you have a lightning shield? Pretty useful here because, uh, Double jump is really useful just in case I mess up a jump, especially if I'm about this point because bottom of the screen is a kill play now and we're doing an auto scroll, which is, I want to say, rare, but I think from this point, I think we've had what? Um, I'm trying to think now. We've had. Um, we have bridge jump through from 8 bit. We had um, Sky Chase from Sun 2, we had this. I think this is actually only the third uh, auto scroll. Oh, yeah, this boss is super tedious. Normally it takes 14 hits, but uh, because we've got the uh, patch version, the, uh, the patch version of Sun 3 R, he only takes 3 hits. Not 3 hits, he takes 8 hits, he takes 3 hits per cycle. So we get, it goes down fairly quickly, and you get the fire shield from above before you actually come down here. He's a joke. He's also a joke if you have high for this in the same way. Just make, it's just that if you have the fire shield, you just have to make sure you jump over the uh, mines when he shoots them, so that he hits himself with them. So, who the thunk is? Another you know, the hit yourself boss, but yeah. Only takes eight hits. Like I said, it normally takes fourteen. So uh, having to do that at least five times before uh, I actually kill him. Actually, probably one of the worst things as well in that too, which is probably why he's really like skipping this this zone. Kind of glad that the devs of S3R actually went and uh, no, didn't turn to wait like everybody else. But anyway, we're in Hidden Palace Zone. We're well, going to be doing that next video. It probably is going to be like the world's shortest video as far as well, it's not really going to be the world's shortest video. It's probably going to be the world's shortest update as far as I'm concerned uh, for this game. So I may very well do the next zone on the same note as well. It depends on how I'm feeling. So uh, yeah, next time, shortest video ever. Take care, I'll see you guys later. Yeah.